Well, hey everybody, my name is Professor Lindsay Groves. I work at Roberts Wesleyan College, and today we are gonna have the awesome opportunity to make some easy yet affordable foods. So when you're like at college, a lot of times you might have like this meal plan that's well prepared, which means you basically have food for you at all times. Today we cooked some ramen noodles, but like a gourmet type style, and a garlic butter grilled cheese. Definitely the ramen noodles, adding the vegetables and you know whatever garnishes you wanted added a different kick than just eating it straight out of the package. I like the, the ramen better because it's more popping with you know flavors rather than just grilled cheese. I like the ramen better. I'm a huge ramen fan. The recipes are fairly simple. It takes about maybe five, 10 minutes to make. Um, I really did enjoy it. You can always add any of your fresh vegetables or chicken or anything like that to spice it up or make it a little bit more fancy for you. Um, these are gonna be your veggie choices for your ramen. I usually go with the chicken flavor. Um, I like cooking the noodles more. Pick your weapons of choice, we'll say. Chicken, good choice. All right, everyone's got this. And then you're gonna wanna choose the sides that you wanna put in your ramen as well. So I would recommend cutting those up first so that when you're cooking your water and boiling that, um, you can actually have the vegetables like marinate almost in your water, which is really helpful. Uh, I'm usually cooking for myself. So go ahead and get two cups of water, but since you're, all of you are making two packs, you're gonna want four cups of water. Everyone has the option to do peppers and onions if you would like to. I would say try it. I mean, I didn't make anyone get like mushrooms because I know like most teenagers don't like mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at you using like the double hand and you use the sun thing off to the side. Look at you go. Okay. If I get bored enough, to just do it. Awesome. Everyone's got their water heating. I'm gonna turn yours down just a little bit. Okay, this is already making me wanna cry. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how your eyes are handling it, but you're doing great. All right, how are we doing over here? You're almost ready. Are you excited? Okay, so I would say probably in the next like, two minutes, once you see some more bubbles forming on the bottom, we can probably start putting in your ramen. And then you can also mix in the chicken. If you wanna add additional flavor besides the chicken flavor, you can either add the garlic powder or you can actually add some minced garlic to give it a hint more flavor. There were no difficult parts, it was really easy. I guess just waiting for the water to boil. This is something you can make fast. It's made with ingredients you can find almost anywhere. So, yeah. So let's see what you're doing with your fancy recipe. I'm gonna season my chicken. <laughs> season your chicken. <laughs> How you doing over there? Are you ready for your next step? Okay, awesome. Usually like this is the most challenging part is really like getting the packets open. <laughs> See, not as easy as we thought. But I love that you have your like little garbage bin. That's always key, essential in the kitchen, no matter where you're at. All right. So once you get that stirred in, totally fine. <laughs> I like the the swirl of ingredients being added. Always a fun and exciting time. This looks amazing, also smells delicious. God made a lot of things, and if he put the skin on it, then there has to be some use for it, right? Yep. <laughs> but awesome, once it starts bubbling a little bit more, you might be able to add your chicken now, and then it will start to like break apart, so it'll be like chicken chunks or chicken shreds. So you can mix that in there. Do you like how it's smelling? It's gonna taste awesome. I am confident of that. You liking it? 
Liking the aroma. Have you tried it at all? You're like, no, I'm gonna try until you're almost ready. Okay, so are you a person that likes your noodles like real, real, real well done? Or like slightly crunchy still? Uh, now everyone probably has an experience making ramen out of a packet, but at the same time, if you're at college and you wanna spice it up a little bit, one of the things that you do have access to is your meal plan. So usually in there, there's a salad bar, there's a couple different variety things. And so the recipe that came to mind was something that was fresh and easy, but also utilizing something that you already have access to, which is an easy salad bar where you can get those vegetables or fruit or anything that you wanna put in the ramen. And then grilled cheese is always a nice, delicious cheat to have on the side. How do you like your noodles typically? Uh, well done. Like well, well done? Yeah. Like super soft? Yeah. Okay, awesome. I think it will help me so because I already have something in mind if I'm ever hungry. So I don't have to, you know, rush just what do I do? What do I do? We just already know. You see those trends a lot on social media and seeing all these different types of ways you can make ramen and amp it up from just a package to something super different than just the, the seasoning, so for sure, yeah. All right, and so for everyone else making your grilled cheese, most people have probably made it pretty straightforward. You make your bread, you put butter on both sides of it, and then just kind of cook it. Well, I was nervous because I don't, it's not my go-to. Like, I don't usually eat grilled cheese unless I'm really feeling like it. So I was nervous, but it was really good. Is anyone wanting to try the super adventurous one with the real garlic? Yeah. Anthony is? OK. You are too? OK. But you can, you know, test your options. You can do one with the real garlic. You can do one with the garlic powder. You can do one without it. In case you're like, man, I really don't like garlic this much. All right, so nice and easy. Spread the butter on as much as you want to. I would say a nice thin layer of butter on each side of your bread. So I would say go ahead and try for two different sandwiches. Yeah, I'm gonna do, fine. you can make as many as you want to, but yeah. we'll try to master one. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on here because I don't need a ton of garlic, right? Spread it around. So your, your pan should already be on. You're welcome to go ahead and put your first piece of bread, butter, and garlic side down. You'll hear a little sizzle. And then you'll go ahead and put your cheese on it. Again, if you want two slices of cheese, go for it. Grilled cheese, it can burn real fast. Lightly like browned on one side, go for it. If you like it a little bit like darkened or with a little bit of that char, you can go for that too. Honestly though, it's super easy too if you wanted to add extra ingredients from college, like the dining hall, if you have that meal plan, like you can take it from home. The program is awesome, definitely. I feel like people should, there should be more people to join because there's so many opportunities you can get here and I love it here.